uh, I am going to demonstrate MIDI MPPT char charger. This is the MPPT charger. These are the input of the MPPT. This is the panel. Panel I connect to the input and uh, this is the output of MPPT. Here you can connect battery or load. So now I am going to show that how is the lamp. So this lamp will connect, this load will connect here. So what I am going to do, this is the panel. Now I am going to connect the panel directly to the load and immediately to the MPPT, through the MPPT to the load. So you can understand how much is the energy difference will come. So if it is battery, I can put an ammeter and voltmeter, I can show it will come more. But this bulb you can understand visually. Now I will connect the bulb to the panel directly. This is connected directly to the panel. Now you can see the brightness of the bulb. Then immediately I will connect same panel and same load through MPPT. So immediately I disconnect. This I will connect to the output of the MPPT. Here I connect output. Immediately I connect to the panel to the MPPT. So now you can see that you know tracking it is that the MPPT will track for the same that is the ma maximum energy tra transfer to the load. So panel having an impedance that impedance will vary according to the sunlight and other temperature. So that should match then the maximum energy will transfer to the battery or load. Now see that immediately I change to the bulb. So same, same bulb I disconnect, the same I will immediately connect this panel to the MPPT. Now MPPT track immediately I can connect to this, to the load. See, now I connect to the load. See, that is tracking immediately. If I connect the panel directly to the battery or bulb, it will give less energy output. See. Immediately I can connect this. The less energy disconnect also. If I disconnect also. Less energy transferring. That is if you connect battery or load anything, the same. So here this is the microcontroller based MPPT. Here you can see this is a microchip based microcontroller. This is only 16F72 space. Then this will track the PDA. Here it will sense the panel voltage and panel current. Then it will multiply the panel voltage into panel current and see at what, what current and what voltage maximum energy is transferring to the load. See now you can see this is tracking, see that for maximum output is given. The principle I will explain you know how, this panel having an impedance that will vary according to sunlight. So this load impedance to match the panel according to that, that if it is matching that more energy will tra transfer. Here I am going to explain uh, the working theory of MPPT. So, this is the panel, the panel connected to an MPPT and output of the MPPT connected to battery or a load. So this is the panel current, this is the A and this is the panel voltage, here is the V. So the wattage is V into I equal to the wattage. So here what I am doing, here I am varying the PWM, increasing the PWM. So the current, I will increase the current slowly, slowly increase the current. So panel voltage will come down. Then I will V into I, V into I multiply, multiply. So what I will do, current I will increase. This is the current I. I I will increase, then panel voltage will come down, the V. 
so the v into i v into so this is the i is equal to i equal to zero v equal to open end voltage will be 22 volt so here zero watt because v into i 22 into zero this is zero watt then one ampere i increase one ampere sometimes some voltage some 20 so 20 watt like that wattage will increase so the wattage the wattage will increase 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 then the voltage is coming down like this then again the wattage will come down this is the point of maximum power this is a maximum wattage so that only tracking so we will take more current slowly increase the ampere ampere and and same time multiply multiply v into i each and every every point v into i multiply see the wattage where is the maximum wattage there you should stop so that v into i multiplication here the microcontroller inside the microcontroller is there this microcontroller will multiply the it will increase the pwm and multiply v into i v into i each and every point and this where it is a maximum power is coming there the microcontroller will stop so the microcontroller software will return like that it will increase the pwm and multiply v into i then slowly increase that increase the ampere that time pwm will increase the ampere will increase then each and every point it will multiply and where is the maximum power not the maximum ampere maximum ampere if you short circuit the panel if you short circuit the panel maximum ampere at that time v equal 0 v equal 0 i may be some 10 ampere 20 ampere and that is 0 watt only that is no watt some point only more wattage so i will draw here that current i am increasing the current at that time this is the v the V will slowly we will come down then that will come down like this so current slowly I am increasing up to this point this is short circuit current okay so here the V equal 22 volt maybe that time I equal 0 ampere then if I am taking 1 ampere 1 ampere that time the V may be some 20 volt so again I increase here 2 ampere that time the V may be some 18 volt yeah 2 ampere 18 volt then the 5 ampere if I increase to 5 ampere then it is 17 volt then 10 ampere it is 16 volt then again I am increasing the current some 11 ampere that time the voltage came down to 6 volt then again some 12 ampere that time this is 0 volt so you see that here 0 ampere into 22 volt 0 into 22 here 0 watt this is 1 into 20 that is 20 watt 2 into 18 here 36 watt 5 into 17 it is 5 into 17 85 here 85 watt 10 into 16 this is uh, 160 watt 6 into 11 here is 66 watt 0 into this is 0 watt so the power will come like this the wattage will come slowly the wattage increase it will here only the maximum power 160 if I take here somewhere again if slightly I increase the current here some point maybe that uh, Ten point some ten point five ampere. Okay, this is some ten point five ampere. That time the voltage came down to voltage came down to eleven volt. So here ten point five into eleven. Ten point five into eleven equal one hundred and fifteen point five watt then the current wattage came down this is 160 here wattage came down so that uh, if you connect 
through MPPT it will track the maximum point and it will give so for example if you connect that without MPPT directly you connect the battery directly to the panel that is if the panel is connected directly to the battery then if the battery voltage is 11 11 then it will give only 10.5 ampere so battery voltage 16 that is given that 10 ampere then some 10 point here is 11 ampere 11 ampere voltage came down to 6 so if it is 11 the voltage is 11 then the current is this is 11 and this is 10 here some 10.5 if you calculate then 115 here 115 0.5 watt only you got actually 160 watt it can give by using MPPT so by using MPPT 150 here if I connect MPPT with that 11 volt battery this same 11 volt battery then what will happen here the panel given 16 volt and 10 ampere 160 watt so 160 divided by 11 that much ampere it will give to battery 160 divided by 11 so that 14.5 14.5 ampere it will give through MPPT but here only 10.5 ampere only it given so that much wattage will get more so the principle is nothing this is that increase the current of the panel and see V into I what is the maximum wattage at which point it will give there only can track very easily easily we can write an algorithm this by increasing the current and multiply with the V multiply multiply when it is going up we keep on increase when it is coming down again go back and what is the maximum when some other sunlight then this will go like this then sunlight increase time this will be some other point will come some other point it may we can take more current here some some 200 watt and all will come that time I can take more current and some I can take 12 ampere 14 ampere so that will vary some this can vary depend upon the intensity of sunlight so always I'll track this is the principle of this MPPT